The dashboard is a quick and easy way of seeing the present metered values in addition to the status of any events have been recorded. It's color coded to indicate whether or not a parameter is within limits. The dashboard has three panels available, one for power quality, one for demand and energy, and the other for motor health. A box with a green color indicates that the parameter is within limits and or no events have occurred since the last time that the panel was cleared. A gray color indicates that the parameter has been enabled for metering, but no triggers or event limits have been set. For power quality parameters such as SAGs, SOILs, and transients, a red color indicates that those events have occurred since the last time that the panel was cleared, and the count indicates the number of times that event has occurred since monitoring has started. For all other parameters, including THD, power, and other parameters, a yellow color indicates that the parameter has crossed the high or the low limit, and the red color indicates that the parameter has crossed the very high or the very low limit. To clear out all the alarms on the dashboard, press the clear button and all parameters will return to their green or untriggered condition. The size of the dashboard or the number of boxes can be changed by pressing the number of boxes button. The default size of the dashboard is medium, which is three by four boxes. A larger dashboard is available with four by six boxes and a small dashboard is available with two by three boxes. You can change the parameter in any box by pressing it to highlight the box. Once you've selected a box, you can change the parameters in that box by pressing the Select Parameters button. You can then choose a parameter to display from the standard parameter list, and then press Exit to view your chosen parameter. To set up a box, click the Set Up Cell button. The Set Up Cell button allows you to change certain characteristics of the cell, such as the cell name, the row label, and the high and low limits that are used to trigger the color coding. Directly from the dashboard, you can also view an event list or a trend for any parameter. Once a cell has been highlighted, you can see the trend plot and the event list buttons at the bottom. And you can view the trend plot and the event list by simply clicking those buttons.